The FBI says gun homicides in the U.S. increased nearly 30% over the last year. In total, that's the largest increase in murder for one year ever. Homicides and non-negligent manslaughter reached 21,570 cases in 2020. That's an increase of 4,901 over figures from the year prior. This is the highest estimated total since the early 1990s, when homicides consistently stayed above 23,000 a year. Most crime has been on a continuous downward trend over the past two decades. Property crimes fell again, 7.8%. Robberies were also down 9.3% last year. Data from the CDC on suicide shows that firearms account for half of all suicide deaths in the U.S. in 2019. Homicides that same year totaled just over 19,000. There were nearly 5,000 more firearm suicides than total murders in the U.S. Just looking at homicide, every three in four killings in the U.S. involves a gun. Compared to Canada, there were only 651 homicides total in 2018. Adjusted for population, Canadians are 70% less likely to be murdered than Americans. Only a third of those murders involve guns. Canada reported only 12% of their 3,800 suicides involved guns, as opposed to 57% of suicides in the U.S. A study from Boston found 64% of all U.S. Arm fire, firearm fatalities could be averted if the U.S. had the same rates of firearm accessibility and ownership as Canada. That would be just under 25,000 lives saved each year. Attorney General Josh Call joined Democrats this week to push two gun control bills. One would require all sellers to do background checks. The other would allow judges to remove guns from people with prior histories of violence, including domestic abuse cases or history of suicide. A 2019 poll found 81% of Wisconsinites support such measures. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pazorski visited the Indigo Gun Show to hear their take. Licensed sellers told him they already have to run background checks, and the private sellers who don't are part of the gun show culture. This weekend, hunting enthusiasts came to the Bob and Rocco Gun Show in Anago to maybe pull the trigger on a new gun, ammo, or anything they can find inside those doors. There's jewelry, there's um, Native American stuff, uh, furs. They try to get try to get stuff for just a little bit for everybody. The Bob and Rocco Gun Show is put on by the Take a Kid Hunting Foundation, which has the goal of bringing together all generations, benefiting youth and disabled American veterans. You see, generations all come through at once, and they uh, and you hear them talking to like you know their son and their son and grandson or whatever's going to go hunting with them too. And so it's, it's a big deal. When people hear the phrase gun show, they might think that there are only guns. However, this is not quite the case. When you come to a gun show, it's not only guns and ammunition, it's a wide variety of different products that different vendors have here. Jeff Hahn spends most of his time as owner of a military lifestyle store in West Bend, but enjoys the chance to travel around the state selling his merchandise. We basically come to gun shows to get the name out about our business and to... Uh, sell outstanding products by uh, veteran-owned companies. One minute you're talking to somebody that works in a factory, another minute you're talking to a doctor. Uh, you just don't know who you're going to meet at a gun show. Show director Ron Martin says that while gun shows often get a bad rap, Martin believes that people who enjoy gun shows are not criminals. Yeah, they're generally, they generally come to gun shows, they, they have registered cars, they got insurances and things like that, and, you know, where the criminals don't. Yeah, I mean, they... They'll, they'll steal a car and go steal some guns. Martin says that while private sellers do not need to perform background checks at the gun show, licensed sellers such as himself do as a way to make sure criminals do not get their hands on firearms. All I, all I know is they keep calling it a gun show loophole. I have never, ever heard of such a thing because it, it, for a guy like me, I have to call in every firearm I sell. In Anigo, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12.